page 81. Helen Keller It was the summer of 1880. A healthy baby girl was born in a small town in Alabama. Her parents loved her dearly and named her Helen Keller. But one day, the baby became ill and day after day, her fever stayed high. Everyone in the family tried to help her to get better. But all they could say was, There is nothing more we can do. The baby may not live. Helen lived, but she was not the same after her illness. Something is very wrong, her mother said. At last, they found out what was wrong. The child could not see or hear. The baby grew into a little girl. Her parents felt sorry for her. Helen often cried and held on to her mother. Give the poor child what she wants, her father would say. Though Helen could not hear or see, she was a bright little girl. Some people thought Helen could not learn anything. Her mother did not agree. Helen is very smart, she said and added. The problem is, how can we reach her? She is locked up inside herself. Helen began to grow wild. She would not let anyone comb her hair. Page 82 Her clothes were always dirty. She was often angry. Sometimes, she even lay on the floor and kicked her feet. Her parents thought that they should find a teacher for her. Miss Sullivan, a young teacher, agreed to help Helen to learn to see the world. Miss Sullivan gave Helen a doll. D O L L Spells doll. She spelt the word with her fingers into Helen's hand. She made the letter with special hand signs. Helen copied her teacher and spelled D O L L 2. But she did not understand what she was doing. Helen liked Miss Sullivan. She was strict but kind. She spelled a lot of words for Helen on her hand day and night to make Helen understand. One day, her teacher made Helen put her hand into running water. Then she spelled W A T E R. Suddenly, Helen understood that W A T E R water meant something wet running over her hand. Page 83. She understood that words were the most important things in the world. Words would tell her everything she wanted to know. New words. Dearly, illness, agreed, important. Page 84 Reading is fun. 1. Something is wrong, said Helen's mother. What was wrong with Helen? 2. Although Helen could not hear or see, what kind of girl was she? 3. Who agreed to help Helen? 4. How did Miss Sullivan help Helen? 5. 
What did Helen learn when the teacher put her hand into running water? 6. What was the most important thing that Helen finally understood? Let's talk. 1. Using sign language, make these letters with your hand. C H E K 2. Spell these words through hand signs. A Helen B Was 3. How do people who cannot see read? 4. What is the script for children who cannot see called? 5. How do you think you can help children who cannot see? Page 85 6. Look at the signs for the letters of the alphabet. In this page, sign language for alphabet A to alphabet L is given. Page 86 In this page, sign language for alphabet M to alphabet Z is given. Page 87 Let's write 1. Match the two parts of sentences given under column A and B. Add but to join the two parts and write complete sentences. Column A 1. Helen lived after her illness. 2. She could not see or hear. 3. People thought that she could not learn anything. 4. Helen copied the words. 5. Miss Sullivan was strict. Column B A. Her mother thought she could learn. B. She did not understand what she was doing. C. She could not hear or see. D. She was kind to Helen. E. She was very intelligent. Blank space has been provided for your answers. Page 88 Team time! 1. Read the following sentences. A. Her clothes were always dirty. B. She was often angry. C. Sometimes she lay on the floor. D. Her parents never scolded her. 2. Ask yourself the following questions. Put a tick under the right column. 3. Now your friend will ask you the same questions. In first column, questions are given. In second column, option always is given. In third column, option often is given. In fourth column, option sometimes is given. In fifth column, option never is given. Put the tick mark accordingly. How often do you? A. Obey your parents. B. Visit your grandparents. C. Fight with your brother or sister. D. Help others. E. Throw waste in the dustbin. F. Switch off the lights when you go out of the room. G. Leave the tap on while brushing your teeth. H. Tear pages from your notebook. Page 89. Let's make something. 1. From newspapers or old magazines, collect stories or reports of courageous children. 
A. Draw pictures of the story. B. Talk about the stories. Sing this song together. Pretty Peep I have a little sister. They call her Pretty Peep. She wades in the waters deep, deep, deep. She climbs up the mountains high, high, high. My pretty little sister, she has just one eye. Who is Pretty Peep? Answer, a star. Page 90 Teacher's Page Unit 5 Poem Don't Be Afraid of the Dark Story, Helen Keller Themes Respecting Differences, People Around Us This unit is about sensitizing children to the world around them in terms of their thoughts about fear of night, darkness, etc. It is also about differences in children which emerge due to certain individual needs that may affect their learning styles. Warm-up A blindfold game where simple, catch the thief, follow the leader games can be initiated to give children a sense of joy and participation in the process of developing sensitivity towards others. Opportunities need to be given to all children and their specific abilities need to be recognized and appreciated. This includes children with disabilities who may need assistance or more time to complete tasks. Reading Time 1. By this unit, you can now involve the children in silent reading of the lessons before you actually start reading aloud to them. Identify a few children who could initiate a reading session for the others. The bottom line for this unit should be how to involve the entire class into reading, listening and answering queries. 2. A small class-wise competition within the school can be initiated. Sharing Time 1. Involve the children in sharing what they have felt during warm-up time. 2. A chart about difficulties that children have in terms of their fears, I don't like, I can't do, can be put up in the class. The idea is not only to make children do things, but also to hear and understand what they feel they can't do. This feedback will work to sensitize you with their individual needs. Creative Time 1. Emphasize on similar sounding words with different spellings. For example, B-E-E, -E, B or B E B S O N Sun or S U N Sun and other words given in the text. 2. Rhyming words can also now be introduced and children can be encouraged to create their own little poems using rhyming names in the class. Names of children or name of things in the classrooms in alphabetical order. These can be put on a chart and children can then make a class rhyme. Language Corner 1. The chart above can form the central point of the language corner. 2. Children can be subtly involved in making written presentations about their thoughts, feelings and ideas about this unit. 3. Assessment of the class based on reading, listening, writing can now start with each child getting a feedback. Environment Issues related to the class like using less paper should now be focused upon.